Hello everyone, I'm Professor Ricardo. In this video, we are going to use the Euler-Lagrange equation to find the equation of motion of a particle moving under a force given by the Hooke's law. Consider a particle of mass m undergoing simple harmonic motion. The force on the particle is given by Hooke's law f equals minus Tx. Determine the equation of motion by using the Euler-Lagrange equation. We will follow the same procedure we used on the previous problem for a particle moving in one dimension. We know that the Lagrangian function is the kinetic energy minus the potential energy, and this is the Euler-Lagrange equation for the QJ coordinate. It's clear that the only coordinate of this system is x. So, we get that the generalized coordinate q is equal to x. And our Euler-Lagrange equation is given by this one. We need to solve this differential equation here. The force is given by this minus tx. And we know that the force is the partial derivative of v with respect to x. In other words, we know that the potential energy v is equal to minus the integral of f dx. Solving this integral, we get 1 over 2 tx squared. And then our Lagrangian function is the kinetic energy subtracted by 1 over 2 tx squared. Now, let's calculate the partial derivative of the Lagrangian with respect to x dot. The result is m x dot. The total time derivative of this result is m x two dots. And this partial derivative of the Lagrangian with respect to x is minus 1 over 2 t 2 times x. In other words, minus key x. Using this result into the Euler-Lagrange equation, we get m x2 dots minus, with this minus sign, give us uh, plus key x equals 0. If we divide this equation by m, we get the second order total time derivative of, the, of x plus T over m, which we are going to call omega 0 squared, times x equals 0. And this is the familiar equation of a simple harmonic oscillator with the natural frequency omega 0 equals the square root of t over m.